How dare you? Hmm? How fucking dare you? Are you serious right now? Why couldn't you tell me earlier? I have to find it out from your sister. I'm not having this fucking argument now. What do I have to do? What do I have to do to get you to talk to me? When I do, you just start up again. You can't have a proper conversation. I'm here now and I'm ready to talk. I've had enough. I've had enough of your bullshit. You are so cold-hearted. That's right. You know, you just play the victim as usual, Ben. Just leave. Poor you. Just fucking leave. So, the other day I thought I'd finally come home. Make things right. Sit her down, apologise. Talk through all our bullshit and rekindle, you know? So I get home. And as soon as I get inside, something's off. I can't even describe it. It's just one of those feelings you get in your stomach. That sense of dread that something fucking awful's happening. Anyway, suddenly I realise it's quiet. Way too quiet. I walk slowly and make my way to the bedroom door. I go to open it and I hear laughter. I open the door and... And? You know the fucking rest. She was in there with that guy. I'd kill her. <laughs> of course you would. I'm serious. You wanna fuck around? That's it. You'd kill a woman? Nah. I'd pay someone to do it. Like a hitman? Exactly. <laughs> You're all fucked. <laughs> I'm dead serious. This is why none of your relationships work. Yeah, what is that? Because you've got no compassion. You're an asshole to women. Yeah, there's a big difference between being an asshole and not letting them fuck around behind my back. She made a mistake, that's all. A mistake? Yeah, a mistake. A mistake like that you don't forget, Ben. Well, I want to. I want to forget the whole damn thing happened. As the board says, this class will be about mind reading. All right, what is our topic today? Anya? How about you answer the question first today? To be humiliated in front of everyone due to an incorrect answer. <laughs> God have mercy on my soul. What is this? Oh, whatever, just go. They'll tell me about Mrs. Kane. Yes, she thinks he's seeing someone. Late nights, motel matches, the usual. Sexual appetite? Gone. Don't have a good couple anyway. You're jumping to conclusions. Do you take the case? We need the money, Veronica. Good. I would have been pissed if you hadn't. I wouldn't have cared if you were. 